Hi everyone and welcome back. Today is lesson four of my beginning trumpet series. Let's quickly recap what we've learned in lesson three. In lesson three, we learned how to properly begin the note and how to tongue or articulate using the new notes that we learned C, D, E, F, and G. We also explored buzzing simple melodies and using a siren buzz as a tool for developing your skills. Today is lesson four. I'll introduce lip slurs and highlight the similarities and differences between slurring and tonguing. We're gonna to learn three new notes today, the A, B, and C, which gives you all the notes required for a C major scale. I'm also going to discuss how to use lip slurs to strengthen and develop your embouchure. Stick around to the end as I will show you some slur exercises that will improve your range and endurance. First, using the notes that we have already learned, the C, D, E, F, and G, I want to highlight the difference between slurring and tonguing. Slurring is just a technique where we smoothly transition between notes without using the tongue. Take a listen to the difference. The first pass will be the slur, and the second pass will be articulating or tonguing those same five notes. It's important to note that when we add the articulation or tongue, we don't do anything different with the airstream. In fact, the tongue only slightly interrupts the airstream, but the air remains constant. Let me demonstrate this on a G where I'll hold the G and then periodically add the articulation. The air never stops. It continues throughout. Take a listen. Next, let's learn a few new notes to go along with C, D, E, F, and G that we've already learned. For a complete trumpet fingering chart, check out the link in the description below. The next note is the A. The A is the same fingering that we use for the E, which is one and two, first valve and second valve. The A is only one step higher than the G. Take a listen as I add the A in a sequence with the notes that we have already learned. The next new note is the B, which is one step higher than the A and is fingered with just the second valve. The last new note that we're going to learn is the open C that is just a half step above the B. Like the low C in the second line G, the high third space C requires no valves, it's just open. Earlier in this video series, I had you do lots of repetitions between the C and G. Next, we're going to take it one step further by adding the high C, all open notes. Make sure to do lots of repetitions with these three notes so that you can begin the process of muscle memorizing where each of these three notes are. If you can't hit the high C at first, that's very normal. You have to be patient with this. I don't want you to overstrain to get the high C out as it invites bad habits. Now, I wanna show you some slur exercises that will strengthen your embouchure so that the high C will become easier. On the trumpet, there are seven valve combinations, and in this slur exercise, we will use all seven combinations. Those combinations are open, second valve, first valve, first and second valve, second and third valve, first and third valve, and lastly, all of the valves, one, two, and three. I'm gonna demonstrate this lip slur exercise using all of the valve combinations. At the end of each one, pause the video and give it a try.
When you start to feel comfortable with this, let's take it one step further. Using the same seven finger combinations, try these lip slurs with me. Like before, pause the video after each exercise to try for yourself. These lip slurs are a great way to improve your ease of playing, range, and endurance. If you find value here, click like, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more trumpet-related content as it's being released. See you in the next video.